sports guru, and uh, we're here talk. We're here. Welcome to the bootleg. Uh, kind of a look at all things high school football here in yep. Middle Tennessee. Going to take a little bit of a different route at part of the show. We're going to talk about playoffs. Yeah, let's get playoffs? we're getting there. I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> I knew it. Um, yeah, we're getting down to the uh, to that part of the season. Um, he loves it. He just looks the he, professor. He'll back t- in session. The professor. He just looks up and down the standings yep. statewide and goes, "Now if this team wins, but but hold on, if this team wins, yes, so, I will uh, be he up loves it. Hours the next the, this weekend next uh, looking at playoff scenarios. So we'll. We'll dive into some some key regions, but first let's talk about the game of the week. Yep. Game of the decade, really. <laughs> I think this is a game where the loser should go to another region because we see this game every year, two times a year, and I'm getting kind of. You've only been here three years, man. Yeah, I mean, come on. We see this game so many times. It's NBA at Brentwood Academy. A lot of red. A lot of stuff. Uh, you know, we'll go with this game here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a rematch of the past three state championships. Three in a row, yep. BA has won every one of them. Yep. We won't talk. Sorry about that, Big Red fans. But They've been you know, close. Is, I mean, there have been, been some close very, ones. They've generally been close games. But uh, NBA, BA, a lot of stuff on the line. Yep. Give me your first year breakdown. Uh, I think this year both of these teams are defensive led. And mm-hmm. in fact, I would say these are two of the best defenses in Middle Tennessee. Uh, they're both holding opponents to less than 10 points a game. That's pretty good. Uh, they both really get after the quarterback, too. 65 and a half sacks between the two. That's pretty impressive. I think BA has around 38, NBA has around 27. Uh, you got the star power at linebacker uh, Jackson Hanna at NBA, Devin Curtis at BA. I'm going to be paying close attention to quarterback, though. I just talked about how good these defenses are. You got two first year starting quarterbacks, uh, William Tyrone and Wade Williams at Brentwood mm-hmm. Academy. They've both had so so years and they're uh, decent years uh, i think they're these are going to be the biggest test for both of these guys kevin creasy just called and he says that his defense is pretty good too though. uh i think you know they are i think oakland is averaging about 9.7 mm-hmm. so they're all right they're in all that right little there. cluster yep i think this game is a game that's going to be one in the trenches mm-hmm. uh you know the gore kid and yeah. what clifton, clifton kid, and, yep. and then you got uh the jackson hannah and you know they got some kids over there i think this is a this uh Old fashioned, if we can make room, if we can run the ball, we're going to run yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, to Mario Pleasant, um, you know, the, the Williams, can, Wade Williams can run the, yeah. run the football. Uh, Tahira Noor. Um, mm-hmm. and, and when I say keep an eye on the quarterback position, I don't think they're going to be out throwing it 40, 50 yeah. times a game, but I think there's mm-hmm. going to be times in third and sevens late in the game mm-hmm. where those guys are going to have to come through and make a play. And, and I, I, I'm sorry to say this. I can't tell you one. I mean, this is an NBA season where it's so like Jackson, Hannah, you know, defensive oriented. Jackson Lampley. The I couldn't tell you the the key key, key runners for for NBA well, because there's different people. There's it's a couple a, different ones. There's not a there's not a headliner. Yeah, they they uh, they lost one. I can't remember his name. Uh, suffered a knee injury against Innsworth. But again, they're not. They're not 100-yard backs. They're just kind of mm-hmm. moving the chains. It's really They win every week, and I'm like, how do they win? You it's, know? Uh, well, your boy Jackson Hannah's played a little offense. He, came, yeah. he comes in in short yards. A little heavy package. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a pretty big boy back there. Uh, is this, you know, we've seen Gavin Schoenwall throw the ball pretty well on these guys, and you know, the Oates ball and, and Ch- Ty Chandler mm-hmm. games. I think this is lower scoring. Don't you yeah, think? I would – I. We're not going to think so. scores yet. We'll save that till the end. But, yeah, I would definitely, between the defenses, between the new quarterbacks, between just their style mm-hmm. of play, I would definitely think this would be mm-hmm. somewhere in the low 20s or teens. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk, uh, we'll make that prediction later in the show. But first, kind of look at some regions, some things, you know, those some some championships can be won this weekend, but some yep. are really next week too. But um, region 6-6A. And you've got Brentwood, Independence, and Ravenwood all battling for that top spot. And there's yep. a scenario where all three of them, mm-hmm. either, any of the three, could be your top, could yep. be your champion, get that top spot. Independence, four and four. Independence still in the running for. Who a picked up a title. receiver? Absolutely picked Chase up a receiver. Chase Bishop, breaking news. If you haven't read it, the uh, story that Michael Murphy had earlier today broke the story where Chase Bishop, who's the son of former Titan Blaine Bishop. 
has left Brentwood. He's enrolled in, 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 in Independence. He's got to basically practice three days. Then they can apply for eligibility, eligibility. and we go from there. But he adds a, another dimension to a pass-happy Independence that already has 2,000-yard two two receivers. 2,000-yard receivers in, yeah. in Week 10. So, I mean, it's the rich get richer, it seems like. <laughs> So, so Independence, if they beat Ravenwood, they they win. Simple. Yep. Independence is number one. I like it simple. He, I think yeah. he likes it. I like it complicated, complicated yeah. and you know, throw the kitchen sink at me. If Brentwood beats Centennial next week, this week they play Marshall County. It's a non-region game. Doesn't affect the standings except for overall records. But we're not going to get to that point. If Brentwood beats Centennial and Ravenwood beats Independence, uh, Brentwood is your number one team. Okay. If Here's another interesting one. If Ravenwood beats Independence and Centennial beats Brentwood, Ravenwood will be number one. And then another the thing, Centennial would be number two. They're right now they're fourth. Centennial. They could leapfrog all the way to number two in that scenario. That Centennial's been a mystery this season to me. Yeah. But they're still hanging around here. It's week 10. They are. So Independence, Brentwood, Ravenwood, those are really the, your, your games to watch in week yeah. 11. We're kind of a week ahead of time. But we kind of wanted to start the – the conversation now of how the region should could shake up as far as yeah. region champions. The region we talked about a couple of minutes ago, Division II AAA East Middle with Brentwood Academy, M NBA Macaulay, those three can have the top spot. Yeah, and like the game before, if NBA wins on Friday, it's easy. It's over. It's over. Uh, I, I like it difficult, though. Exactly. I don't know if it'll happen, but Sorry, uh, Marty. I like we'll it see. Though. I mean, if BA wins, you're looking at... Uh, Four, three teams. You got BA, mm -hmm. NBA, uh, Macaulay. Macaulay, all with one loss. Mm -hmm. uh, Macaulay lost to NBA. Mm -hmm. They beat BA. If BA wins, that scenario, BA would hold the tiebreaker over, or they would hold the head to head over NBA. So it, this is mm -hmm. where Tom comes in and just starts. Yeah, if, if BA beats NBA and Ainsworth, because they got, they've got them the yeah. next two weeks, uh, and then Macaulay beats Father Ryan, then it's Macaulay, BA, NBA, uh, Macaulay because of overall wins because they all would they be would I think have... five and one I think in region play or four and one five and one I believe mm -hmm. uh, they would all be five and one uh, Macaulay would have a nine and one record the other ones would have um, uh, NBA would have would have eight and two would be eight and two BA would be nine and one but Macaulay beat BA yeah. head to head so that, uh, that that's where the head starts to get swollen here yeah thinking about that uh, if if BA beats NBA, and then Father Ryan, if BA's a big Father Ryan fan that, you know, going finishing out the season. If Ryan beats Macaulay, I think that's week 11, BA is number one, NBA is two, and Macaulay slips to three. That would be a shocker, folks. Yeah, that would be a significant up to upset with, with but, if Ryan beats Macaulay, but it could happen. It could Ryan, happen. Ryan Rector, um, you know, can pull off a big upset, and it would be a significant upset the way Macaulay has played this season. Okay, next region we want to look at, Region 5, 4A. Springfield, Creekwood, Montgomery Central, those are the three schools that probably are paying yep. attention to this conversation right now. All those fans need to pay attention. Yep. Springfield controls their own destiny. They went out, they're the champion. Yeah, they've had two big wins the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks, Montgomery Central and Portland. they got to keep winning that. Yep. This is not yep. over. Yep. They, they played Greenbrier this week. That's If they want a mulligan... They can Dustin Wilson can have a mulligan can in that, that one. They can afford a mulligan yep. there. That game's on TV. That's the big rival. He doesn't want to have a mulligan there. Yeah. But if he wants, if if they lose that game, it's not the end of the world for them. Springfield must beat Creekwood in Week 11. Springfield, if that happens, Springfield is your number one. Uh, along with that, that's assuming that Creekwood beats. Creekwood has Portland, Portland I believe, this, this week. week. Yes. That's assuming Creekwood beats Portland this week. Yep. If Creekwood beats Portland and they beat Springfield in Week 11, and Montgomery Central wins out, and probably should happen, they, they play yeah. White House Heritage, Heritage and White House High School, Montgomery Central is your region champ if Creekwood beats Springfield. So the only way for Creekwood to win it they need is help. to win out and Montgomery Central to lose to one of the two teams you yes. just mentioned. Montgomery Central would have to lose to either White House Heritage or White House High School to uh, to give Creekwood the win if they beat Springfield, yeah. so probably looking outside, looking in, it's it's a Springfield, Montgomery Central race. Yeah, barring, barring Springfield's some, still barring lose. upsets. Okay, 
The final one we want to look at, I know we can only handle so many because you're all heads. I'm already. Just start going, what the world is he talking about? But trust me, parents are wanting to know, what, yeah. who's going to be, who, am I, can my team win the championship? Yep. Region 6, 5A, that's, we're looking at Gallatin, Hillsborough, yep. Beach. If Gallatin wins Thursday, that game's been moved up from Friday to Thursday. they got some bad weather coming in. Gallatin is your region champion. Yep. Uh, if Gallatin beats Beach. If Beach beats Gallatin, and uh, the way it will probably play out, Hillsboro is your likely champion. Yes. There's some things that come out with some other games, but if, if the games play out like they should, everyone wins out that should, Hillsboro is your likely champion. That's all we're going to talk about playoffs because I know everyone's head spinning right now. <laughs> Speaking of head spinning, what in the world happened last week for the game of the week? Pearl Cone, East Nashville. The Kool-Aid for East Nashville has tasted so good this year. And it, then Pearl Cone it, said it's, not so it's fast. It's spoiled Craig. within about 14 seconds. Yeah. They, uh, uh, East Tony Nashville. Bernetti said Craig Gibson yeah, yeah. to do Kool-Aid. What East Nashville attempted an onside kick on the opening kickoff. That's uh, where it went down. Man, they recovered. They took it back. Jason Seahorn style. Uh, it, they went up. East Nashville, they moved the ball through the air, negative minus one yards on the ground, 28 wow. carries, and finished with Ron negative Darius yards. Uh, Ron Darius was the only thing who did, only one who did anything on the ground. Okay. I think he got about 45 yards on the ground. Mm -hmm. We're talking sacks, lost yardage plays. Mm -hmm. They end up with minus one, ton of sacks. Xavier Shepard had a 45-yard touchdown run. Marion Leggett had a couple more scores. It was domination, is, is what it was for 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 the final three quarters for sure. Ron Darius Gregory, he got on the board with a big play in the first quarter, but it was uh, it was a message by Pearl Cone. They're the team in 5-3-A. Maybe. Have they felt disrespected? That's what that's what I heard from big Elijah Simmons after the game, and they uh, well, that, they made quick work of East Nashville. All right, we're going to... Um we're going to talk to everyone. If you have questions on everything, let me let us know. Send us your questions. Um, look at now, send them, tweet me at, at Krager, and we will try to answer them. If you're asking me about playoff scenarios, we'll try to do them in some stories that we're going to be doing, looking at, at different uh, uh, playoff scenarios in the next in the next few days. Uh, quick fire, week 10 top games. Who wins? Game of the week. Brentwood Academy hosting NBA. Who do you have? I got NBA, 17-14. Same score I picked in the Innsworth game. I think a defensive or special teams touchdown makes a difference. Are we close in our standings, by the way? We are identical. We both missed two games last week. This could change this week. Good, man. We had a lot we, of... We, uh, we have some hey, different... Quit peeking. I'm, I'm quit looking. Peeking. I'm looking. Wow, we've got a lot. Of, I need to make some changes. We do. This, this could get ugly, folks. I've got Brentwood Academy winning 28-24. Cody's going to figure out what they did wrong last week, and they're going to get a lead, and they're not going to give it up. Two scored. weeks ago. Last week they had Two a bye, but yeah. 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 Uh, Henry County travels to northeast. Three and five northeast. Henry County Man, seven Man, this one. could be such a, a great region championship game. It's not, but it's still, still a pretty good game, I think. Mm -hmm. Northeast needs it a lot more than Henry County does. Northeast loses this game. They're out of the, they're out of the playoffs, and someone has to answer some questions on how – they had a forfeit five games, I think. I think that fact right there makes the difference. I think Northeast wins 28-21. I think some questions are going to need to be answered. Regardless. Henry, regardless, <laughs> but especially. Henry, wants Henry, answers. Henry, I want answers. <laughs> I want the truth. I want to know what happened. Uh, Henry County, 21, Northeast 20. <sighs> Sorry, Northeast. It'd be a hard way to well, end it for Northeast. Tough way to lose the, the, the playoffs, but they did it all on their own. Uh, Got to play eligible players. Yeah. Page versus Shelbyville. Both teams undefeated. This yep. is pretty much your pretty region much a championship. Five-five. Five. They're four-A. Five. Five-A. You're right. Five-five. You know five the a. playoffs. I know the classifications. Yeah. Together yeah. we make it work. Okay. Five-five-A. Page Shelbyville. What happens? I think Shelbyville gets another one here. Uh, Grayson Trammell is too much for the Patriots. Wow. Forty-two thirty-four Shelbyville. Forty-two to thirty-four. I'm going. Cade Walker, I'm a believer in what Charles Rathbone has done this year. The only, only losses to Ravenwood. Yep, yep. They're in the Super 25. You know that, right? They are. And super. That's pretty super of a season. <laughs> pretty right? super, yeah. That's super. Page 35, Shelbyville 21, region championship coming home to Page. Okay. 
Lewis County, Columbia Academy. I'm kind of concerned with Lewis County. They've already played a game. They might be worn out. Three games in seven days is I don't what this know will make. You, that's, that's not Did you cover three games? Well, you have to do it at the championship. But yeah, I do, I do nine and three. Woo. But, yeah, um, I think that makes I think that plays a part in this. I mean, mm -hmm. you're talking they they won the the last two handily. Okay. But three games in a week against your third game coming against Columbia Academy, I like the Bulldogs, 28-21. Bobby Sharp is not going to allow it to happen. He's if he wouldn't have one of them was Obion County. Yeah. They played some reserves then. Okay. They blew out Hickman County. They did. They played some re reserves there. I'll bet you. And he's still tougher than practice probably. Have you seen their practices? <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm just assuming they're pretty good. <laughs> they got to practice. 21-17, Lewis County is going to win this game. And that, my friends, are that's five straight games we've picked different. You, you should have been Some, copied off me a little gonna closer. Something's going to happen. You should have copied off me a little closer. I'm Henderson, tired of us being tied. <laughs> you've done this before. Backfired last year, it, folks. It backfired I'm feeling horribly. good. I'm feeling good. Hendersonville, Rossview. Tell me, you're, how, how, we can be close, right? I, yeah, I got to go Hendersonville on this one. I think they keep rolling right into that Week 11 matchup with Mount Juliet, which mm -hmm. could be for a region championship. Cool. Will be for a region championship. Cool. Score, 35-10, Hendersonville. You were close to copying off of me. I'm going Hendersonville, 35, Rossview, 14, setting up a great game in Week 11 with Trey and... The, the bolt and the the bears going playing against Hendersonville, great great game. Cornersville, one of my favorite teams. I was about to call them your boys. They're my boys. Cornersville, Huntland. These guys, Cornersville is playing lights out this season, but so is Huntland. Huntland got me a big win last week over Moore County. Helped me stay even with Krieger in the standings. That's why I'm going to give him a touchdown this week. <laughs> But no more. Cornersville obviously hasn't given up a point since week one. I like Cornersville 31-7. Cornersville 28 to nothing. Cornersville's first team defense has not given up a point all year. Couldn't, shouldn't have put the subs in, They put man. the subs in in week one and scored some points. But uh, that's something that Coach, uh, Coach Randolph is very proud of is this defense. 28 to nothing winner over Huntland. And this is a big game here. We talked about this region earlier. Portland Creekwood. Big game. Big game for Creekwood. Portland can stay fighting for that high up spot I think they're in regardless. Yep. What do you what do you have? I got Creekwood. Wow. Big. Uh, they What? Big? Well, two touchdowns. 35 wow. 21. Look at take wow. a look at Creekwood's schedule. They lost. Week one, mm -hmm. rival Dixon County, 10 nothing, 6A school, okay. They're not making the playoffs. They lost to Trousdale County by six points. Trousdale County is a pretty good team. I, I like Creekwood. I like their losses. I know you don't ever like losses, but I don't you like look losses. up and down their schedule, I like them. Portland, two-game losing streak. I think they're going into the playoffs on a three-game losing streak, unfortunately. Tell me a coach that likes their losses, and I tell you, I'll show you a coach hey, that's it's looking good. it's a good loss, down. man. You, I'm telling you, you, you show covered, me a coach that likes college their college loss. basketball, and you'll start That's a coach looking for a new losses. job soon. Portland, 28. Creekwood, 21. Caleb Mandrell. Got him I like this, this kid. He, I, he's, a, he's, just a, he's just a hoss. Yeah, he is. He he run, is. He's a quarterback, but he runs the ball. He doesn't really throw the ball much at all. Uh, and both, this is a game that, you know, uh, there's not going to be much throwing. No, probably not. Creekwood can't, the Creek was on their third quick. quarterback of the year. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. So well, they're not going to throw the ball much. They're going to run the ball. Uh, this could be a game that tears up the field on what should be a rainy night. Uh, but I'm, I like Portland 28-21, and, and that may make that Springfield whole discussion a lot more mute. Uh, friendship. Mute. Middle Tennessee Christian School defending Division 2A friendship, the Commanders versus Kamari McGowan and the Cougars. Reading all my notes. Uh, Kamari, I think he has another big night. He went. He, I think he had a season high last week, 200 and something, three touchdowns. Yeah, big, big week. He's gonna have another night like that. He's, He's gonna have the week. to. Friendship, I think, is gonna be too much. I like them 31-28. Kamari McGowan, go vote for him on our Athlete of the Week poll. But tonight, this Friday night, will be Friendship Christian 28, Middle Tennessee Christian 24. You know, they're not as fast as they were a year ago, but they've got some big guys up front. Too much size for uh, MTCS to handle. 
Uh, I would like to correct an error. I said Creekwood lost to Trousdale County. They actually lost to Montgomery Central region opponent. So, sorry about that, folks. Mm -hmm. It was friendship lost to Trousdale County. Trousdale County. We'll let it go. It don't matter. They're gonna. You're this. Your game's gonna be gone. It's wrong. So, uh, Gallatin Beach. This game has been moved to Thursday. A lot riding on this game. You know how I like. I said I like uh, to keep it simple. I don't think this one's simple, though. I think Beach wins this one 21-20. Uh, those two running backs, Deshaun Parks and Tyshawn Jefferson, I think they're too much for Gallatin. Thursday night, Gallatin 21-10. Gallatin will wrap up the region championship. Okay. And you, my friend, are going to be way below in the standings. Okay. Oakland versus Cookville. Last game to discuss Please tell me. Tell me you're picking Cookville. Uh, uh, no. Oh, okay. I, I thought I heard you could pick no. him earlier today, no. but we no. cleared that up. I, no. Oakland, big, 45-10, Patriots. They don't give up that many points. We just discussed that. They're right around there. <laughs> Oakland, 45, Cookville, 7. And, boy, I, I tell you what, folks. There's a chance for a big-time change there won't be a tie i don't think after this week this could be. be i mean last a great, week we had great week last week we had four games different and we, we split, split them now so i mean there's there's a yeah. chance yeah there's a chance to have some major separation <sighs> krieger had some we'll question see. marks this week though so. well folks that's all we got uh stay dry this week it's gonna be a wet friday night some games are already being moved to thursday make sure you uh, pay attention to uh, twitter and everything for games to be moved and uh we'll see you next week on the bootleg <laughs>